Hey guys, what's going on? It's Connor here, and I'm bringing you a three-part series on how to make a decent logo in Cinema 4D and Photoshop, which you probably have Say worked out. My... Shut up! Which you've probably worked out from the title. Um, so today we're just going to be doing the Cinema 4D part of things as a render, and tomorrow we're going to be oh. uh, making the render more oh. better. <laughs> and on the day after oh. that, we are going to be doing the Photoshop side aspect stuff. Yeah. Basically, so you can just shut up. I will pay you. Villainize. Okay. So guys, um, you can either use text for this or AI file. I'm going to use a AI foil, yeah, and I'm going to include this Lightroom in the description down below. So if you want them to use text, just go make your text and completely ignore this bit that we am doing now. So I'll just shove that in on millimetres so it's not too big. Coming in at number eight. Like that. So guys, if you've done the um, mode text you have to do this stage, you'll just grab an extrude nerve, drag the AI file in, like so. And just put the object on to about 20. Yep, we're going to keep that on 20. And then you'll be on the same stage as me here if, if you're doing Motex just go to cap put it on fill it cap and change the radius on both to one then we're gonna go and get a nice decent material alright that'll do get a nice little grunge material on to that beauty. Copy and paste it and then put the depth on to about 60 and move it back again like so. Then we're gonna copy and paste it again this time putting it on to a nice 20 and putting the radius on the fillet cap on both of them to 1.5 centimeters like so. As you see that will just give it a bit of a bulge out. And then we're going to get this material texture here and drag that on. Move that forward to the front section there. Uh, we just want to call this extrude and appear the frontal one. Remember if you're doing text you can do exactly the same thing but whenever I say extrude nerve, just change that for uh, whatever you, uh, your front thing. Change them instead to about 10 because you don't want it too th uh, th thick. Sorry. And what you want to do is you want to keep copying and pasting them and putting around the same area on them each time, distance wise, like this. And again, until you get to the final one. So at the moment, guys, we've got this looking like this. We might just change the frontal. Um, we might just change the frontal texture to a nicer one. Um, yep, just grab this one, shove it on there, like that. Okay, then we're going to grab all of them apart from the frontal one. Go plugins, Grebler. If you guys haven't got Grebler, I'm going to leave a download link in the description for you guys and a link on how to install it. You just drag all of them extrude nerves into Greebler and you'll get a weird effect that looks like this. Play around with the random seeds so however you want but I'm just going to keep it on uh, on like that. Just going to change all the max to 8 and put all of them onto 8 as well. Um, where's the front one? Okay so with the front one here you can then either keep it there which I'm going to do or you can drag it out a bit um, it's just really a case of playing around with the length, width, everything like that so I'm just going to put them both on 40 and 30 um, probably put the base and bevel on 5 on the Grebler like so yep I think that will do Okay, so we've got that there. Next, we're going to go to the front one. We're going to go Python plugins Nitro Blast Main. If you guys haven't got Nitro Blast Main, once again, I'll put a link in the description how to get it. 
they'll probably both take you about two to three minutes to get and install but yeah they're worth it to get nitro blast main put the pieces on 50 and click flak gear that won't take long and like thorosi should take about 30 10 to 20 seconds i think that's done okay if you look guys you've got this nitro blaster folder here and if you what you don't want to put in there you've got all of them here like so and what this allows you to do is you can click on each part and drag drag it out now you've got two options here either drag out each se uh, section separately or you can just do it the other different ways Jones might just change the texture on this um, yeah, if you want to change the text, you just go back. Actually, you know what? I reckon that might come out quite nicely. So, just keep the texture on there, like so. So, what you can either go is MoGraph Fracture. Drag that in the Fracture. MoGraph Effect it. Group. And drag the Fracture in the group. But we're not going to do that. We're, uh, we're going to either drag them out. Or we can go Group. Random, drag the random in the group, and make the nitro blast a bl um, child of that. Go to the former and change the point to point, and tune the effector down to about four. So, guys, that's about the end of this tutorial. We're just going to keep it like that. Uh, it's just a case of using nitro blast and Griebler. Now, what I do like doing at this point here is going file new material going to texture finding this using this texture which I will also include in the description and then just go into random bits on the um, render which will just give it uh, just a different bit of colour all around it like so. Oops, so so just make that spread out a bit and have it on there yep that will do so guys just go uh, get nitro blast and griebler and then uh, watch out for the video it should be out tomorrow for part two on how to do the next bit so I'll just render this and leave it for you guys to see it so guys this is the finished render uh, it may look a little bit shabby at the moment, but once we've got this into Photoshop, use the brush tool, done some layer styles, it will look uh, amazing. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. Um, so watch out for the next video, which is going to be on. <laughs> Shut up! Which is going to be on layer styles Sorry. and the brush tool and textures, adding onto it, which will make it look a lot better. So, guys, it's me, Connor. Sweet. I'm out.